Why not come here and have ultimate peace, right? Why come here and have a headache? You want to avoid that because you don't want to come to the Philippines to be a babysitter. She wants to look good for Facebook. She wants to look good for TikTok. She wants to look good for Instagram. I'm a foreigner, you know, I want to show off. I want to show I'm living a high life now. She understand certain things, like she's understanding certain responsibilities. You find that one for you, whoo, it could be sweet. BGC once again, man. This is the uh, Mega Uptown Mall. And uh, I got a video for you. I got a topic for you guys. Something that a lot of you guys need to consider. Maybe even do. So stay tuned for that. Where's the other one we shopped before? That's the only one we tried. This one? Yeah. Wow. We'll take two of those for now, and then we're going to get another one more. Hey guys, welcome back to the Black Filipino TV. Now, I gotta get into this today. Reason why is because I've been doing it for eight years in the Philippines, right? And I'm gonna go over you guys with some of the benefits of getting a Filipino that's of age, right? What I mean by of age, I mean, you know, in her 30s, even sometimes a little older, right? Depending on your age bracket. Of course, I'm not gonna suggest a guy that's 25 years old to come out here and get a woman that's 30 years old. It's just not gonna make sense, right? She probably wouldn't even be any time of day anyway. Or probably would, right? Who knows? I wanna suggest why. I'm gonna give you guys my experience. This break, we right now, we right back here. We got the burrito taco. These burrito tacos are delicious. Man, these are the die for piss on case too. Oh, yes. Hey, boy. Hey. Okay, I'm older but I'm not old, right? Here's an example. Of course, you have guys that are 80 years old, 70 years old, sometimes 60, that come here for 18 year old woman. So, of course, I'm nowhere near old to come out here and marry a younger Filipino. But, me, I wanted someone more on my level, right? I wanted someone with the same thinking capacity as, as me. I wanted someone with more life experience. That's just me, that's just what I wanted. I wanted someone that has more understanding. And some of you guys may find that you may want that too, right? Case in point, this happens to many guys. You've even seen other YouTubers mention it, right? They'll get with a younger Filipina. Of course they don't regret it. They don't say, oh, you know, I'm with her and I don't like being with her no more because she doesn't know how to do anything. Of course they don't say that, but they mention, hey, I'm with this young girl and she doesn't understand certain things. Like she's understanding certain responsibilities. She's not used to handling certain things. Like with my wife, what I love about her, I can hand my wife a certain amount of money to manage all the bills for the month. And she manages all the bills, right? What I got my wife, I got someone that understands a lot of things about technology. I wanted it and I needed it. I'm a younger guy, but I'm not young, I'm older than a lot of you guys that come here, but you, you get what I'm saying. I wanted a woman that has understanding, right? And she does. So that was for me. It may not be for you. Some guys may be able to come here and get with the youngest woman possible, especially, I suggest that, especially if you're a guy that doesn't have any kids, right? If you're a guy that doesn't have any kids at all, I would say come here and get with a woman that's maybe 20 to make sure, because you, you wanna have a kid, right? To make sure you reproduce. I need an understanding. I need a woman that can jump right in the ball right away. I need a woman that understood how to love, right? With Kay, she got it right away. And a lot of times you find a Filipina that's over 30 who will have been through, maybe even been through plays, right? Been through a guy playing games. Now, that happens with a lot of Filipina. They'll be that age, Maybe have one or two, maybe three or four playboys. So, just make sure you don't bump into the one that's, that's hounding you too much because he's extra jealous, right? But, who's that age, been through that, and knows she wants to get right to it. Knows she wants marriage. Knows automatically she doesn't want to play games. 
knows she's going to, and it's a perfect fit because they understand guys coming here, coming from hard situations, some guys may be broken. It's, it's a great union, right? And that's what I found. That's how I found with Kay. Here's the thing. You want to find a woman that's mature, right? Let me, let me break down. Let me explain. Now, imagine you're getting with a younger woman who's addicted to social media. Even my wife loves social media, but she's not addicted. Filipinos in general are big social media people, right? Social media is life. Facebook, TikTok, even Twitter, Instagram, every Filipino has one. But you don't want to get someone that's super addicted, right? Now, if every Filipino loves it, imagine having a younger Filipino who's caught up with gossip. Everything is gossip. Looking at the gossip on social media, also, they participate in the gossip. You don't want to bump into that. I had that in the West. That's something you want to avoid out here, right? You don't want someone younger. Everything is a show. You don't be with a woman where everything is a show. Some feel having a foreigner, you know, I want to show off. I want to show them living a high life now, right? So that comes with headaches all in itself. So imagine, you're coming out here, you're sticking to a certain amount of money, and she wants to look good for Facebook. She wants to look good for TikTok. She wants to look good for Instagram. That's a headache. Also, what could happen, that also goes hand in hand with this. A woman that doesn't understand the importance of budgeting, of course, if she should be thinking like that, right? It's caught up with social media, caught up with the trends, it can happen. Someone being young, it can happen. Remember the story I talked about a couple of days, like about, probably a week ago, right? The guy had a Filipino in the States, young, she didn't understand the importance of budgeting. Look at that nightmare. She's in the States, she's in the West, so that's a bigger issue. So you don't want to bump into that here as well. Of course, it's much easier on your pockets, it's easier to load, but why deal with that anyway, right? Just, why not just avoid it? You want to avoid that because you don't want to come to the Philippines to be a babysitter, right? Imagine a woman addicted to that. Also, things start coming up from a past. It can happen, guys. There's some women out here that just won't understand respect. And the reason why I know this, not because I dealt with it, I speak to everybody. Everybody tells me what's going on with them. Everybody tells me the pain they're going through with dealing with women here. And I know, I hear about it, so I'm reporting back to you. So, you don't want to be a babysitter. Also, too, as I, I broke down a money grubber, you don't bump into that. And also, this is a plus, right? You with a woman that's older, she's been through life, she understands things. Maybe she's been with another expat before. Right? It could be many different scenarios. The great thing about it here, you'll come here, you can find a Filipina who's 40, 35, 40, 50 years old, who looks like she's 30, 25. It happens. I'm sure you guys see it all the time online, right? You see it even on YouTube channels. You can find it. And so with that maturity mixed in, that's going to be a plus for you. That's going to be a plus for you when you have a woman that has know-how to where it's safe you're building the house, right? Because a lot of guys want to come here and build a home or come here and start a pig farm, right? A woman that understands certain things, she can help you maneuver with different people in the government to get these things done. Yeah, you need someone with some know-how. I'm not saying every guy's going to come here and do that, but why not come here and have ultimate peace, right? Why come here and have a headache? Now, as I explained earlier, there's going to be guys that say, you know what, I have to have them younger. I want them younger and nice and... Feminine, feminine and delicate. delicate and I get it but this for those guys that want ultimate peace in all aspects right a woman that's not going to be hard on your mental she where she gets it she knows to give you peace you have young Filipinas out here that don't understand peace all they know is war they're young and they may end up with a Filipino who may have done them wrong and then everything is jealousy Every time you want to step outside the house, they're behind you, checking in your phone. You don't want that. You don't want that nightmare. You don't want someone pestering you. You find that one for you, ooh, it could be sweet. Right, that's what happened with me and Kay. I'm happy I chose her, and that's what I was looking for. And when I got her, and then everything she was able to do, everything she brought to the table was just a plus. And I know it's because she had experience, right? She put me on the things that I didn't know. So, of course, I'm not saying it's going to be that way all the time. Of course, you're an American. You guys are going to come knowing a lot. Some of you guys are going to be 50, 60 years old, even 70. 
you know, 40. You're going to know a lot, but still, you get a woman who's your peace. That's what you want. And you can live out the rest of your years and live even longer. You don't want to get someone that's going to have you stressed out, wanting to smoke cigarettes and drink all the time. It could happen, guys. Guys come here and guys end up getting more unhealthy because they come out here and drink more because it's cheaper. So you don't want to have a situation where women is driving you to drink, right? So consider that, guys. But still, I'm not trying to deter guys. I'm just trying to say, make the best decision for you. If you want to come out here and try it out, right? That's all fine and dandy. Try getting with a younger woman. That doesn't work, then go the other route. That's the thing in life. There's always second chances. A lot of guys are coming here for a second chance. So you can always have that second chance even here. You just gotta have one, have one. Doesn't work, gotta move on. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you like my content, you're welcome to support my, my content by giving a small donation at PayPal. You can go to my Buy Me A Coffee at buymeacoffee.com forward slash JTBF. And there you can buy me a coffee or you can book a consultation with me. I have consultations for a very small fee. At the bottom of this video, you see thanks there. You can give a thanks and make sure your comment is highlighted and you can give a small donation that way as well. Guys, in the description, you see other videos of my other content that's great as well. So you can be sure to watch my other content there. Thank you for watching. See you next video.